Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our chapel. I'm so pleased to be here with you this morning. Boys and girls, how has your week been? I hope it's been good. I bet you enjoyed going outside and playing in the snow. Well, don't worry, there's going to be a lot more to come. Let's get ready to be in this special place. Let's find the quiet inside of us and get ready to hear one of God's special stories. The Lord be with you and also with you. Now sing with me. Let's sing Be Still and Know. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. When we sing that song, we know it's time to get ready to hear one of God's special stories. What are some of the biggest gifts you have? Those are pretty big. But now, think of something even bigger. There are some gifts that are so big that it's very hard to see them. They're everywhere, but they're so big that we forget they are here. I don't know how to see them unless we go back, back to the beginning or just before the beginning. Let's see if we can do that. In the beginning, there was nothing except God. And perhaps an enormous smile. On the first day, God gave us the gift of light. I don't mean light, like the light in this room, or the light you can turn on and off. I don't mean the light of the sun, the moon, and the stars. I mean light, all light. What is present in light that makes it light? When God saw the light, God said, it is good. On the second day, God gave us the gift of water. I don't just mean the water in a glass, or the water in a bathtub, or the water that comes from the sky. I mean water, all water. What is present in water that makes it water? When God saw the water, God said, it is good. On the third day, God gave us the gift of the dry land and the growing things. I mean all land and all green growing things. And when God saw the dry land, and the green growing things, God said, they are good. On the fourth day, God gave us 
the gift of the great lights. The great light that rules the day and the great night lights that rule the night. And when God saw the great lights, God said, they are good. On the fifth day, God gave us the gift of the fish that swim in the sea and the birds that fly in the air. When God saw the fish and the birds, God said, they are good. On the sixth day, God gave us the gift of the creatures that walk upon the earth, the animals and the people. When God saw the animals and the people, God said, they are good. And God saw everything that was made. And God said, it is very good. On the seventh day, God gave us the gift of a day to rest and remember the gifts of all the other days. On this day, we find a special place to remember all the gifts of God. I wonder what special place you go to to remember God's gifts of creation. Boys and girls, our story is over now, but I hope that after we're done our chapel time, you might spend some time with artwork and you could draw this story. I'm just going to put it away. I'm going to light the Christ candle now because it reminds us, reminds us that when we are together in this place, God is always with us. But the story that I told you today is from the Bible. It's from the very beginning. It's from the book of Genesis, chapter 1. And that's the very, very first chapter of the Bible. Now, it's a long story that goes all the way into the second chapter. So I'm just going to read you the very beginning of the first chapter and then into the second. I'll just read you part of it. If you want, you can get your Bibles out after and you could read all of it. Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning, when God created the universe, the earth was formless and desolate. The raging ocean that covered everything was engulfed in total darkness, and the power of God was moving over the water. And then God commanded, Let there be light. And light appeared. God was pleased with what he saw. Then he separated the light from the darkness, and he named the light 
day, and the darkness, night. Evening passed, and morning came. That was the first day. Well, we know we have more days to go. So you can read that part after, and I'm going to go all the way to the end after God created uh, the seven days. This is chapter two. And so the whole universe was completed. By the seventh day, God finished what he had been doing, and he stopped working. He blessed the seventh day and set it apart as a special day, because by that day, he had completed his creation and stopped working. And that is how the universe was created. Boys and girls, our time in chapel today is coming to an end. What a beautiful story we had today. Let's sing our going song together. Sing with me. Go now in peace. Go now in peace. Go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. I'm going to change the light now. So that it's with us. Reminds us that God is with us everywhere we go and everything we do. Whether we're here in our chapel, at home, or at school, God is with us. Boys and girls, I wish you a good week ahead. Go now in peace.